The boundaries between the continents of Earth are generally a matter of geographical convention. Several slightly different conventions are in use. The number of continents is most commonly considered seven but may range as low as four when the Americas and Afro-Eurasia are each considered a single continent. According to the definition of a continent in the strict sense, an island cannot be part of any continent, but by convention and in practice most major islands are associated with a continent. There are three overland boundaries subject to definition. Between Europe and Asia, dividing Eurasia, along the Turkish Straits, the Caucasus and the Urals, historically also north of the Caucasus, along the Kuma Manich Depression or along the Don River. Between Asia and Africa, dividing Afro-Eurasia into Africa and Eurasia, at the Isthmus of Suez. Between North America and South America, dividing the Americas, the Isthmus of Panama, while the Isthmus between Asia and Africa and that between North and South America are today navigable, via the Suez and Panama canals, respectively. Diversions and canals of human origin generally are not accepted on their own accord as continent defining boundaries. The Suez Canal happens to traverse the Isthmus between the Mediterranean Sea and Red Sea, dividing Asia and Africa. The remaining boundaries concern the association of islands and archipelagos with specific continents, notably, the delineation of Southeast Asia from Australasia part of Oceania in the Saram Sea, Arafura Sea, Timor Sea, Halmahera Sea, and Malay Archipelago The delineation between Africa, Europe and Asia in the Mediterranean Sea The delineation between Asia and Europe in the Arctic Ocean The delineation between Europe and North America in the Atlantic Ocean The delineation between North and South America in the Caribbean Sea The delineation of Asia from North America in the North Pacific Ocean Europe and Africa The European and African mainlands are non-contiguous, and the delineation between these continents is thus merely a question of which islands are to be associated with which continent. At its nearest point, Morocco and the European portion of Spain are separated by only 13 kilometres The Portuguese Atlantic island possession of the Azores is 1,368 kilometres 850 miles from Europe and 1,507 kilometres 936 miles from Africa, and is usually grouped with Europe if grouped with any continent. By contrast, the Canary and Madeira Islands including the Desertas Islands and the Savage Islands off the Atlantic coast of Morocco are much closer to, and usually grouped with, Africa the Canary Islands are only 100 km miles from the African coast at their closest point, while Madeira is 520 km miles from Africa and 1,000 km miles from Europe. The Mediterranean island nation of Malta is approximately 81 km miles from the coast of Sicily in Europe, much closer than the 288 km 179 miles distance to the closest African coast. The nearby Italian island of Lampedusa principal island of the Pelagi Islands is 207 km 129 miles from Sicily while just 127 km 79 miles from the African coast. Similarly, Pantelleria is 100 km 62 miles from Sicily and just 71 km 44 miles from the African coast. All of these Mediterranean islands are actually located on the African plate, and may be considered part of the continent of Africa. However, for political and historical reasons, maps generally display them as part of Europe. A single Spanish islet, known as Albaran Island, is also debatably located on either the African plate or the Eurasian plate. This island is located in the Albaran Sea, 50 km 31 miles north of the Moroccan coast and 90 km 56 miles south of Spain. Europe and Asia The boundary between Europe and Asia is unusual among continental boundaries because of its largely mountain and river based characteristics north and east of the Black Sea. The reason is historical, the division of Europe and Asia going back to the early Greek geographers. In the modern sense of the term, continent, Eurasia is more readily identifiable as a continent, and Europe has occasionally been described as a subcontinent of Eurasia. History Differing boundaries between Europe and Asia The threefold division of the Old World into Europe, Asia and Africa has been in use since the 6th century BC, due to Greek geographers such as Anaximander and Hecateus. Anaximander placed the boundary between Asia and Europe along the Phasis River the modern Rione in the Caucasus from its mouth by Poti on the Black Sea coast, through the Cerami Pass and along the Kura River to the Caspian Sea, a convention still followed by Herodotus in the 5th century BC. As geographic knowledge of the Greeks increased during the Hellenistic period, this archaic convention was revised, and the boundary between Europe and Asia was now considered to be the Tanay the modern Don River. 
This is the convention used by Roman era authors such as Posidonius, Strabo, and Ptolemy. Throughout the Middle Ages and into the 18th century, the traditional division of the landmass of Eurasia into two continents, Europe and Asia, followed Ptolemy, with the boundary following the Turkish Straits, the Black Sea, the Kerch Strait, the Sea of Azov, and the Don, known in antiquity as the Tane. But maps produced during the 16th to 18th centuries tended to differ in how to continue the boundary beyond the Don Bend at Kalik Na Donu, where it is closest to the Volga, now joined with it by the Volga Don Canal, into territory not described in any detail by the ancient geographers. Philip Johann von Strallenberg in 1725 was the first to depart from the classical Don boundary by drawing the line along the Volga, following the Volga north until the Samara Bend, along Obshki Syrt, the drainage divide between Volga and Ural, and then north along Ural Mountains. The map makers continued to differ on the boundary between the Lower Don and Samara well into the 19th century. The 1745 atlas published by the Russian Academy of Sciences has the boundary follow the Don beyond Kalik as far as Serafimovich before cutting north towards Arkhangelsk, while other 18th to 19th century map makers such as John Carey followed Strallenberg's prescription. To the south, the Kuma managed depression was identified circa 1773 by a German naturalist, Peter Simon Pallas, as a valley that, once upon a time, connected the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, and subsequently was proposed as a natural boundary between continents. By the mid-19th century, there were three main conventions, one following the Don, the Volga-Don Canal and the Volga, the other following the Kuma managed depression to the Caspian and then the Ural River, and the third abandoning the Don altogether, following the Greater Caucasus watershed to the Caspian. The question was still treated as a controversy in geographical literature of the 1860s, with Douglas Freshfield advocating the Caucasus crest boundary as the best possible, citing support from various modern geographers. In Russia and the Soviet Union, the boundary along the Kuma managed depression was the most commonly used as early as 1906. In 1958, the Soviet Geographical Society formally recommended that the boundary between the Europe and Asia be drawn in textbooks from Bayderatskaya Bay, on the Kara Sea, along the eastern foot of Ural Mountains, then following the Ural River until the Mugodzar Hills, and then the Ember River, and Kuma managed depression, thus placing the Caucasus entirely in Asia and the Urals entirely in Europe. However, most geographers in the Soviet Union favored the boundary along the Caucasus crest and this became the standard convention in the latter 20th century, although the kuma manich boundary remained in use in some 20th century maps. <laughs> Modern definition The modern border between Asia and Europe remains a historical and cultural construct, defined only by convention. The modern border follows the Aegean Sea, the Dardanelles Sea of Marmara Bosphorus together known as the Turkish Straits, the Black Sea, along the watershed of the Greater Caucasus, the northwestern portion of the Caspian Sea and along the Ural River and Ural Mountains to the Kara Sea, as mapped and listed in most atlases including that of the National Geographic Society and as described in the World Factbook. According to this definition, Georgia and Azerbaijan both have most of their territory in Asia, although each has small parts of their northern borderlands north of the Greater Caucasus watershed and thus in Europe, though most geographic sources assign the area south of the Caucasus mountain crest to southwest or west Asia, no definition is entirely satisfactory, with it often becoming a matter of self-identification. Cultural influences in the area originate from both Asia and Europe. While geographers rarely define continents primarily politically, Georgia and to a lesser extent Armenia and Azerbaijan are increasingly in the 21st century politically oriented towards Europe, but Armenia has a great cultural diaspora to the south, and Azerbaijan shares a cultural affinity with Iranian Azerbaijan as well as with the Turkic countries of Central Asia. The Turkish city Istanbul lies in on both sides of the Bosporus, one of the Turkish Straits, making it a transcontinental city. Russia and Turkey are transcontinental countries with territory in both Europe and Asia by any definition except that of Eurasia as a single continent. While Russia is historically a European country with a history of imperial conquests in Asia, the situation for Turkey is inverse, as that of an Asian country with imperial conquests in Europe. Kazakhstan is also a transcontinental country by this definition, its West Kazakhstan and Atyrau provinces extending on either side of the Ural River. This Ural River delineation is the only segment not to follow a major mountain range or wide water body, both of which often truly separate populations. However, the Ural River is the most common division used by authorities, is the most prominent natural feature in the region, and is the most satisfactory of those options proposed, which include the Ember River, a much smaller stream cutting further into Central Asian Kazakhstan. The Ural River bridges in Atyrau and Orenburg are even labeled with permanent monuments carved with the word Europe on one side, Asia on the other. The Kuma Manich Depression, more precisely, the Manich River, the Kuma Manich Canal, and the Kuma River remain cited less commonly as one possible natural boundary in contemporary sources. 
This definition peaked in prominence in the 19th century, however it has declined in usage since then, as it places traditionally European areas of Russia such as Stavropol, Krasnodar, and even areas just south of Rostov-on-Don in Asia. A lesser known definition for country grouping, is the definition used for statistical purposes by the United Nations Statistics Division UNSD. Listed as part of Eastern Europe, Russian Federation Listed as part of Central Asia, Kazakhstan Listed as part of Western Asia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Cyprus, Georgia, and Turkey According to UNSD, the aforementioned Assignment of countries or areas to specific groupings is for statistical convenience and does not imply any assumption regarding political or other affiliation of countries or territories. Furthermore, the UNSD classification often differs from those of other United Nations organizations. For instance, while UNSD includes Georgia and Cyprus in Western Asia, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization and UNESCO include both countries in Europe. The Council of Europe includes the Eurasian countries of Armenia, Azerbaijan, Cyprus, Georgia, Russia, and Turkey. It notes that T were Council of Europe member states, Turkey and Russia, belong geographically to both Europe and Asia and are therefore Eurasian. Strictly speaking, the three South Caucasus states, Armenia, Azerbaijan and Georgia are located in Asia, yet their membership of political Europe is no longer in doubt. Islands Cyprus is an island of the Mediterranean located close to Asia Minor, so that it is usually associated with Asia and or the Middle East, as in the World Factbook and the United Nations Geoscheme, but the Republic of Cyprus was nevertheless admitted to the Council of Europe in 1961 and joined the EU in 2004. The northern part of the island functions as the unrecognized except by Turkey, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. The Greek North Aegean Islands and the Dodecanese lie on the coast of the Asian part of Turkey on the Asian continental shelf. Thus, generally, these island groups could be considered a part of Asia. More specifically, the small islands of Castellarizo, Strongili Magistes, and Ro all these islands are still in the Dodecanese group are directly to the south of the Turkish Anatolia coastline, of which they are directly adjacent. Additionally, they lie at some distance to the east of the rest of the Dodecanese group in the direction of Cyprus and the Turkish city of Antalya. Akin to Cyprus, these small islets would nominally be considered Asian if only the continental shelf were used to define the boundary, ignoring historical and cultural influences on the boundary. <laughs> Europe and North America Europe and North America are separated by the North Atlantic. In terms of associating islands with either continent, the boundary is usually drawn between Greenland and Iceland. The Norwegian islands of January Mayen and Svalbard in the Arctic Ocean are usually associated with Europe, Iceland and the Azores are protrusions of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and are associated with and peopled from Europe, even though they have areas on the North American plate. Definitions of «continents» are a physical and cultural construct dating back centuries, long before the advent or even knowledge of plate tectonics, thus, defining a «continent» falls into the realm of physical and cultural geography, while continental plate definitions fall under plate tectonics in the realm of geology. Topic. Islands The geographical notion of a continent stands in opposition to islands and archipelagos. Nevertheless, there are some islands that are considered part of Europe in a political sense. This most notably includes the British Isles part of the European continental shelf and during the Ice Age of the continent itself, besides the islands of the North Sea, the Baltic Sea and the Mediterranean which are part of the territory of a country situated on the European mainland, and usually also the island states of Iceland and Malta. Russia's Vygak Island and Novaya Zemlya extend northward from the northern end of the Ural Mountains and are a continuation of that chain into the Arctic Ocean. While Novaya Zemlya was variously grouped with Europe or with Asia in 19th century maps, it is now usually grouped with Europe, the continental boundary considered to join the Arctic Ocean along the southern shore of the Kara Sea. The Russian Arctic archipelago of Franz Joseph Land farther north is also associated with Europe. Europe ends in the west at the Atlantic Ocean, although Iceland and the Azores archipelago in the Atlantic, between Europe and North America are usually considered European, as is the Norwegian Svalbard archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. Greenland is geographically part of North America, but politically associated with Europe as it is part of the Kingdom of Denmark, although it has extensive home rule and EU law no longer applies there. Africa and Asia Historically in Greco-Roman geography, Africa 
meant ancient Libya, and its eastern extent was taken to be around Marmarica, at the Catabathmus Magnus, placing Egypt in Asia entirely. The idea of Egypt being an African country seems to develop in around the mid 19th century. The term Africa was classically reserved for what is now known as the Maghreb, to the explicit exclusion of Egypt, but with the exploration of Africa, the shape of the African landmass and Egypt's natural Inclusion in that land mass became apparent. In 1806, William George Brown still titled his travelogue Travels in Africa, Egypt, and Syria. Similarly, James Bruce in 1835 published Travels Through Part of Africa, Syria, Egypt, and Arabia. On the other hand, as early as 1670 John Ogilby under the title Africa published an accurate description of the regions of Egypt, Barbary, Libya, and Biladolgerid, the land of Negros, Guinea, Ethiopia, and the Abyssinus, with all the adjacent islands, either in the Mediterranean, Atlantic, Southern, or Oriental seas, belonging thereunto. The usual line taken to divide Africa from Asia today is at the Isthmus of Suez, the narrowest gap between the Mediterranean and Gulf of Suez, the route today followed by the Suez Canal. This makes the Sinai Peninsula geographically Asian, and Egypt a transcontinental country. Less than 2% of Egyptian population live in the Sinai, and hence Egypt, even though technically transcontinental, is usually considered an African country entirely and not partly Asian. But when discussing the geopolitical region of the Middle East and North Africa, Egypt is usually grouped with the Western Asian countries as part of the Middle East, while Egypt's western neighbor Libya is grouped with the remaining North African countries as the Maghreb. Both are members of the African Union. The Seychelles, Mauritius, and Comoros are island nations in the Indian Ocean associated with Africa. The island of Socotra may be considered African as it lies on this continent's shelf, but is part of Yemen, an Asian country. North and South America Mainland The border between North America and South America is at some point on the Isthmus of Panama. The most common demarcation in atlases and other sources follows the Darien Mountains watershed divide along the Colombia-Panama border where the Isthmus meets the South American continent. Virtually all atlases list Panama as a state falling entirely within North America and or Central America. <laughs> Islands Often most of the Caribbean islands are considered part of North America, but Aruba, Bonaire, Curaçao ABC islands, and Trinidad and Tobago lie on the continental shelf of South America. On the other hand, the Venezuelan Isla Aves and the Colombian San Andres and Providencia lie on the North American shelf. Additionally, the adjacent Venezuelan islands of Nueva Esparta and the islands of the Venezuelan Federal Dependencies can be considered to be a part of the Caribbean instead of part of South America. The circumstance of these islands is akin to that of the ABC Islands, as both the ABC Islands and the Venezuelan Islands are at an equivalent range from the Venezuelan mainland. Thus, these Venezuelan lands could consequently be placed in North America instead. <laughs> Asia and North America The Bering Strait and Bering Sea separate the land masses of Asia and North America, as well as forming the international boundary between Russia and the United States. This national and continental boundary separates the Diomede Islands in the Bering Strait, with Big Diomede in Russia and Little Diomede in the U.S. The Aleutian Islands are an island chain extending westward from the Alaska Peninsula toward Russia's Komandorsky Islands and Kamchatka Peninsula. Most of them are always associated with North America, except for the westernmost Near Islands group, which is on Asia's continental shelf beyond the North Aleutians Basin and on rare occasions could be associated with Asia, which could then allow the U.S. state of Alaska to be considered a transcontinental state. St. Lawrence Island in the northern Bering Sea belongs to Alaska and may be associated with either continent but is almost always considered part of North America, as with the Rat Islands in the Aleutian chain. At their nearest points, Alaska and Russia are separated by only 4 kilometers miles). The Americas and Oceania The Galapagos Islands and Malpelo Island in the eastern Pacific Ocean are possessions of Ecuador and Colombia, respectively, and associated with South America. The uninhabited French possession of Clipperton Island 1,000 km 600 miles off the Mexican coast is associated with North America. Easter Island, a territory of Chile, is considered to be in Oceania, though politically it is associated with South America. 
Additionally, Chile has the Desventuradas Islands and the Juan Fernandez Islands, also located in the eastern Pacific and to the east of Easter Island. Akin to Clipperton, these are nominally associated with South America. The United States of America controls numerous territories in Oceania, including the state of Hawaii and the territories of Guam, the Northern Mariana Islands and American Samoa. Asia and Oceania The Malay archipelago is usually divided between Asia and Australasia, most commonly along the Anthropologic Melanesian Line or Weber's Line. Indonesia controls the western half of New Guinea, geographically part of Australasia. The eastern half of the island is part of Papua New Guinea which is considered to be part of Oceania. Indonesia is commonly referred to as one of the Southeast Asian countries. East Timor, an independent state that was formerly a territory of Indonesia, which is geographically part of Asia, is classified by the United Nations as part of the Southeastern Asia block. It is expected to join the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, having been involved as an ASEAN Regional Forum member since independence, and has participated in the Southeast Asian Games since 2003. Occasionally, all of the Malay archipelago is included in Oceania, although this is extremely rare, especially as most of the archipelago lies on the Asian continental shelf. Japan possesses the Bonin Islands, also known as the Ogasawara Islands, which is a territory consisting of scattered island atolls located in the Pacific Ocean. These islands are located at some distance southeast of the main Japanese islands. Due to the location of this territory, and the tropical nature of the islands, these are sometimes considered to be a part of Oceania as well. The Commonwealth of Australia includes island possessions in Oceania and islands closer to Indonesia than the Australian mainland. Antarctica Antarctica along with its outlying islands have no permanent population. All land claims south of 60 degrees south latitude are held in abeyance by the Antarctic Treaty System. The South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands are closer to Antarctica than to any other continent. However, they are politically associated with the inhabited Falkland Islands which are closer to South America. Furthermore, Argentina, a South American country, maintains its irredentist claims on the islands. The continental shelf boundary separates the two island groups. The Prince Edward Islands are located between Africa and Antarctica, and are the territory of South Africa, an African country. The Australian Macquarie Island and the New Zealand Antipodes Islands, Auckland Islands, and Campbell Islands, are all located between the Oceanian countries of Australia and New Zealand and Antarctica. Australia's Heard Island and Macdonald Islands and the French Kerguelen Islands are located on the Kerguelen Plateau, on the Antarctic Continental Plate. The French Crozet Islands, Isle Amsterdam, Isle St. Paul, and the Norwegian Bouvet Island are also located on the Antarctic Continental Plate, and are not often associated with other continents. See also List of countries bordering on two or more oceans List of transcontinental countries List of former transcontinental countries The empire on which the sun never sets Tricontinental Chile Pluricontinentalism List of sovereign states and dependent territories by continent Continental divide Borders of the oceans <laughs>